I'm back, baby. You miss me? <laughs> Come here. I'll be pimping, in my coupe. Okay, so today I'm going to be giving you a quick look at the new, the um, iOS 4.2 beta for the iPad. I haven't actually installed my iPhone just yet, but there's an iPhone and an iPad version. Now, iOS 4.2 beta 8C 5101C, if you want to get technical, uh, comes in at a whopping 610.6 megabytes uncompressed. So that's a pretty big damn update, even for a beta. Now, I'm going to head straight into the review. Not really a review, but just a quick look at uh, the brand new beta for the iPad and iPhone. Uh, I got this because I have developer's license, uh, so you can just get a preview of all the stuff uh, before everybody else. So the first thing we're going to look at is the new YouTube app. They've designed it, redesigned it completely. Uh, besides, obviously, you know, the multitasking, they have done other changes. First thing you're going to notice is they've now integrated the thumb system. They've gotten rid of the stars, which is the really old system. They hadn't updated it. It's a really welcome change, to be honest. Up the top, you'll notice you have add, share, like, dislike, and flag. Excellent. They've uh, been keeping up to date with it. Now, videos run uh, fluidly as, as expected, as you can see. Perfect. Um, you have your related videos right here. So pretty much all the same. I'm not going to waste too much time on this. Uh, featured videos are actually up to date. Perfect now. You don't have the problem of they aren't the real featured videos. They're like last week's featured videos. It shows you the um, thumbs up percentage, like uh, 80%, 91%, 98%. The top rated is accurate. The featured is accurate. If you went on the YouTube site, that's exactly what you see. Really welcome change. I love YouTube. As you know, I'm on it pretty much all the time. So it has been refined and it's pretty much to perfection, to be honest. Uh, it's, it's a lot snappier as well. I'm actually at, kind of out of range with Wi-Fi right now, so that's why it may be acting a bit slow. So the second huge feature, as we all know, is multitasking. Now, let me double-click it right here, a bit hard when it's in the dock, but um, it has kind of Apple's felt background right here. You have all your apps down here. If it's in landscape, you can hold more apps. I think one more app than what you can hold down here. So all of them are displayed here. One thing I really hate about this and I do not know why they removed it, is the side button here is now a mute button. I have no idea what they were thinking or who designed that, but I, I used it all the time, that, that uh, orientation lock. It's now been moved down here to the multitasking bar. I have no, no idea why they moved it down there. Uh, and then you have the brightness controls, obviously, down there. That's quite a nice feature, to be honest. Now, I don't think anybody wants to go into the main menu system and mess around with it. Very welcome change for that. You've got your playback controls here. And then you have down here uh, just all your other apps. Now, the next app we're going to look at is Game Center. So go ahead and click that. Now, uh, obviously, it has more screen real estate than the iPod and iPhone, so a bit more stretched out. Not too much to look at. Haven't really used it, to be honest. Uh, some people may be interested in it. Uh, I'm not really. I'm not going to go over it. So you can create a new account. It's like Xbox Live, as Steve Jobs said, for the iOS devices. Uh, so I'm not that excited about it. Now, the next feature is Safari has been updated uh, with 4.2, and right now I'm looking at Yahoo, as you can see, very fluid, everything's been updated to uh, make everything a lot snappier. Up the top here, you'll notice that it says 2, it has a little number of how many windows you have open, uh, and everything's a lot smoother, new page opens really quick, uh, now says that I've got 3 open right there, really nice feature, I like that. Much better than before, we'd have to kind of guess or remember how many you had open. Uh, and if I want to close something, it is a lot snappier than it was before. Go ahead and click into that. Boom. And up the top here, it has like an arrow pointing out of the box. Then the brand new feature to this is called uh, AirPrint. I believe that's its official name right now. Uh, and it's a brilliant interface. It is a small box, very simple, two options. I don't make it too hard. Uh, you know, you can select your printer here. I don't have a wireless printer. I believe you need a wireless printer, so it's not going to find anything. But it's very simple interface. You can choose how many copies you want, and then just go ahead and hit print. Really like that feature. They kept it nice and simple for that. And to be honest, I think that was a, a great addition for people who need to use printing on this. Amongst the suite of updates, they also threw in a new update called iTunes Link-In, where if your friend sends you a link to a video or whatever, open on your iPad, it'll come up 
within the iTunes app uh, directly and then show the TV show. You can go ahead and preview it. You want to buy it, you want to buy it or you want to preview it, whatever. Uh, obviously not a huge feature. Nothing really that I'm too interested in, to be honest. There are more restriction controls, which is good for parents out there. Uh, go ahead and show you that. Go general, and you're going to go ahead and go into restrictions. I've got it off. If I had more apps that have more restrictions, but they give you many more restrictions with that. So parents, that's good for you. Uh, there's a brand new feature called AirPlay. Have not used it yet. Uh, I believe it's used for the new Apple TV integration. You can stream it all around your house, uh, all the content and all that, which is really cool. And the behind-the-scenes updates, of course, are massive speed improvements. Feels much lighter, even though it is, you know, 600 MB update. Uh, it, it runs a lot smoother on system. It's a lot snappier, as you can see. Uh, apps are just a lot smoother in general. Uh, we have, of course, your folders here. Uh, now you want to put Skype and um, Plants vs Zombies, not games, but you know, you get the general drift of it. So you got your folders. Folders work exceptionally, exceptionally well with the screen real estate and the iPad, uh, as you can see. So that does work very well. It's a nice feature right there. Uh, and then <clears throat> the only iPhone only changes that they have is within the SMS app. There is um, a direct link to FaceTime when you're having, when you're texting. But besides that, you're not going to miss out on anything. Now, it is slated for a November release. As far as I know, it's going to be free for all iOS device owners. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more.